Turning now to Hurricane Irma, the storm is now a Category 4 hurricane and it has prompted the governor of Florida to declare a state of emergency. This is video from hurricane hunters with NOAA who flew into the storm. Irma is strengthening in the Atlantic, but there are fears Florida could be in its path. Meteorologist Jeff Berardelli from our West Palm Beach affiliate WPEC has the forecast. Here's the latest on Hurricane Irma. It is a formidable system looking very healthy on its satellite presentation. This is predicted to continue to strengthen over the next 24 to 48 hours. Hurricane watches and warnings are out right now. We have hurricane warnings out for places like St. Martin and Antigua, and we also have hurricane watches out for the U.S. and British Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico as well. This is the official track from the National Hurricane Center, which makes it a Category 4 and keeps it a Category 4, passes by the Caribbean corner right here uh, on Wednesday morning with winds of 145 miles an hour. Very strong storm maintains its category four status as it moves into the southeast Bahamas on Friday and then into the Florida Straits near Cuba on Saturday with winds of 130 miles an hour. This is what all the computer models say about the system moving just north of Puerto Rico, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. It gets just south of the Florida Keys and makes a sharp hook to the north. The latest European model parallels the southeast coast of Florida, impacting Miami, impacting Fort Lauderdale, impacting West Palm Beach, and then headed towards the southeast coast of the United States. This is the steering flow with Irma right now. High pressure is forcing it uh, to the west. The system eventually is going to put the brakes on just to the south of the Keys. And here's the unfortunate thing. The first jet stream is going to miss it. Otherwise, it would turn out to sea. It doesn't look like that jet stream is going to be able to catch it. A second little jet stream, a weaker dip, will dip to the south and probably lift the circulation north. The question is, where will that happen? Everybody in Florida needs to watch this extremely closely and start making initial preparations for a hurricane on Saturday and Sunday. And after that, we have to see if it, in fact, impacts the southeast coast.